One thing's consistent, it's just muggy out there. It though. is, very really it is. muggy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you? I, I sent Jose out for like a humidity test yes, before. She did. Yeah. Yes, she did. Yes. I, I can usually I tell know. with the humidity by my hair. How do you feel? Well, I know when she, she didn't hug me when I came back, so I knew something was oh, so wrong. Oh, that's okay. That's I'm your humidity wet. test. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you smell real good over there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your research, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. And what did you time. learn? We appreciate it. I learned it's pretty muggy out there, like Jose said. Uh, yeah, the, really, we've turned up these dew points this morning, and you have been noticing it feeling more muggy this morning. And then tomorrow, we turn the heat on. 80 degree temperatures returning here tomorrow. We might even get a couple 80 degree spots here today. Now, we are under a risk for severe weather today, primarily across the southern suburbs into northern Indiana, over, as you can see, into almost the entire state of Ohio today. Now, as you look at the current radar, I showed you at the top of the show a couple of light showers up around Genoa right now. Hampshire, you've had a couple of brief showers, and some of those extend up into Walworth County, Wisconsin. But closer into the city, we have not had any rain at all. However, our future radar kind of mapping out, especially later this afternoon, looks like we will get some thunderstorms going through the area and then kind of tapering off for a bit before there's some redevelopment in northwest Indiana later this evening and really closing in on the midnight hour tonight. High temperatures at O'Hare today, upper 70s, average is 79. With our allergy counts today, we're finding mold and weeds both in the moderate range. 75 at O'Hare, this dew point. When you see dew points in the upper 60s, you know it is going to feel very, very humid. 70 in Long Grove, 75 at Midway, Rensselaer at 79 already. So as you look at the radar right now, the cloud cover has managed to stabilize things for us somewhat this morning. But as you notice it's becoming more and more humid here this afternoon, we're going to notice the atmosphere destabilizing a little bit. And so that's why I still think there will be some thunderstorms that do develop in the area here as we go through the afternoon. The one thing you're all going to While our temperatures are going to be heating up this week, I can assure you they will be nowhere near the high temperatures that occur on some of the other planets in our solar system. Michelle Thaller is an astrophysicist and director of education and outreach for NASA. She joins us today. Kind of coming home. You're a Milwaukee girl. Oh, yes, indeed. It's great to be back in Chicago, my, my favorite city. When did you start this interest in this field? How well, old were you? My dad was taking me down to the Adler Planetarium, the Field Museum, the Museum of Science Industry. I mean, four or five years old. Wow. I mean, th th this was a magic place for me. I mean, sh Chicago was the best place to go on the weekends. So. so you study a lot about um, weather on other planets, other worlds, That's if right. you will. Why do you find this to be an important area of study? Well, not only is it just immensely cool to know... They would holler, chant...